hello welcome back in this lecture uh, we will be discussing about short circuit power dissipation short circuit power dissipation is the uh, dynamic first kind of dynamic power dissipation which takes place uh, this uh, is because of the finest uh, finite fall time as well as rise time of the input uh, at the CMOS logic gate uh, because whenever the input is rising or falling it will definitely take a very little time instantaneously no input can jump from 0 to 5 volts or 7 volts or 9 volts and it cannot jump from high to low it will definitely take some time during that time as shown in the figure uh, because that is finite time it will be taking uh, if you zoom it it will look like this so this during this finite time, uh, at this time at the midpoint of this uh, finite time, uh, during this rise time and during this fall time, what's happening? Both the devices by the P mass transistor and the N mass transistor will be directly uh, will be in saturation. Both the devices will be in saturation. I'm sorry, both the devices will be in saturation because both the devices are in saturation there is a path uh, for the supply voltage to short circuit to ground uh, directly uh, through the uh, devices. So uh, even though of course this is a very short time that these uh, both the devices are short circuiting but the amount of power dissipation is also very little of course but uh, uh, the matter here is how many times this is happening because we are using our uh, devices with, at a higher uh, clock rates at higher clock rate means the data the input data is also changing very uh, so many times uh, in a second so the number of times that the power that the input data is uh, changing the number of time that this uh, power uh, is getting consumed so uh, on a whole it depends upon the uh, frequencies like 1 gigahertz 2 gigahertz 3 gigahertz operating frequencies and uh, definitely uh, this is uh, a considerable amount which need to be addressed properly so this is that uh, short short circuit power dissipation uh, sh shorting the power supply to the ground may cause either uh, power dissipation or the power dis uh, large power consumption and sometimes it may damage the device also if it is happening for a longer time uh, now this short circuit power dissipation leads to a current flow uh, from the supply to ground uh, during the time like uh, see uh, if, if you zoom this and see power dissipation uh, transistor will be the pull down transistor will be on after the threshold voltage and above so this device needs to be um, the input voltage needs to be above VT now this device will not on will not be on for logic high it will be off it will be off till it is VTT minus VTN VTT minus VTN that means it is almost till this point this device pull up device will be on and um, from 0 to pull uh, from 0 to almost uh, almost 1 this device will be on power pull up device will be on from uh, power supply to almost 0 that is above VT this device will be on so the area the time between vt here you can see here the time between uh, input input between vtn to vdd minus vtp both the devices will be on now during that time the current is getting consumed you see here that is happening two times in a single uh, single cycle during the rise time and during the fall time how it is happening here it is happening like this from time t1 to t3 power consumption is a uh, short circuit current is high at its peak uh, during t2 it is at, at its peak uh, here also uh, during the fall time power consumption is uh, that is short circuit current between the rails supply to ground is uh, happening from t4 to t6 and it is peak at t5 so during this the mean current that is flowing between the uh, supply and ground is beta by 12 VDD into VDD minus 2 VT whole cube uh, into tau by T, T is time. As you can see here, even this short circuit power is equal to VDD into I mean 
which is equal to beta by 12 this is i mean when you uh, multiply this with the vdd that will be fine because it is in the numerator we have a vdd here in the power consumption psc you don't have vdd because it gets cancelled with the multiplied vdd so uh, this is that power consumption uh, equation for the power consumption uh, short circuit power consumption now this short circuit power consumption uh, dependence on capacitance see short circuit current versus rise, rise and fall time this rise and fall times are happening because of the load capacitances that are connected to the uh, mass uh, transistors or the mass gates so if uh, rise time is uh, see here if rise time this is short circuit current in micro uh, micro amperes this short circuit current is taking very large drastic steep steep wave i can say it is steeper very steep uh, power, short circuit power is happening and it is lowering slowly uh, this is how rise time fall time uh, dependence of see if the rise time is 1 nanosecond this is how it is happening if it is 2 nanoseconds it is taking a little bit, bit slower it is very comfortable like slowly it is uh, rising and slowly it is decreasing if the rise time or fall time is 5 nanoseconds so depending on it is time dependent if it is very slow current will be taking longer time longer time the short circuit current is flowing here the short circuit current is flowing for a little time here it is flowing for a longer time that differs the amount of power consumption that should take place and we think uh, there is no capacitance connected physically at the input but practically in practical cases there is a capacitance forms because of the parasitic capacitances because two three conductors are uh, traveling uh, one behind the other definitely there will be a capacitance if the capacitance amount of capacitance is larger the time constant is very large when the time constant is very large the rise time and fall time can be very quicker if it is a see here you can see here if it is rise time and fall time is very quick then the amount the time during which the power short circuit current flows is shorter short time the uh, short circuit current wasted waste current flowing for a little time it does not be a much matter compared to a that uh, short circuit current flowing for a long time short circuit current flowing for a long time is dangerous so when cl when cl is uh, very high the short circuit current when cl is infinite the short circuit current is very little very little the peak of short circuit current is <coughs> excuse me is very little whereas if this is from picofarads to it is going to femtofarads the short circuit current amount of short circuit current is taking long taking high high amounts of short circuit current is flowing for a little capacitance so here in this case having uh, short circuit current uh, having a load capacitance larger is, uh, is also advantageous i think you understood thank you